The San Francisco Marathon kicks off this weekend, and a special group of people are inspiring others with every step they take. Yeah, the group includes a gym owner from Alameda who received a kidney transplant, a San Francisco police officer who is currently on the transplant list, and a woman who heard about the need for kidney donors and gave hers to a stranger. Really is remarkable. KTV's Claudine Wong sat down with them and has their story now. Slip, two, five, there you go. If you are looking for inspiration, sit for a moment with Wilson Dew and listen to his story. It was 2016. He was just 34 years old, working hard and playing harder when his kidneys failed. I was in the hospital six or seven weeks, and what we were looking at is, um, at the time, I needed to lose 100 pounds, otherwise I would not qualify for a kidney transplant. And at the time, I've struggled to even lose 20 pounds my whole life, my whole adult life. At 315 pounds, he was confined to a wheelchair as he went back and forth to dialysis. And then one day... Something inside of me said, choose life and fight. And from that day, I, I picked myself up off that wheelchair. I remember that, picking myself off the wheelchair. And I just took a few steps, maybe about a 10 feet from the wheelchair to the front door and back. And those steps were the most painful steps I've ever taken in my life. Two years after he took those first steps, he lost 130 pounds and made it onto the transplant list. And he continued to fight. Walking turned into running, running turned into biking, turned into running races, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, and then into biking. Three years after getting on the list, he got his kidney. But his story was just beginning. Working out wasn't just a necessity. It became a lifestyle, and he eventually took over this gym, Mission HQ, and then he created something remarkable. We have this class where we call the warrior class, and it's for the chronically ill, for those that are vulnerable in our communities, those that have some type of conditions. He trains people with chronic illnesses and people like Margo Alvera, a San Francisco police officer who went into renal failure back in 2021. I was pretty, pretty devastated, uh, pretty devastated. Alvara says he's always led a physically active, healthy lifestyle, but now he fights fatigue and ongoing dialysis has made it impossible for him to work. I, I do what I need to do as far as uh, treatment, maintaining my healthy diet, uh, being physically active and uh, you know, keeping in touch with friends, families, and doing my best to motivate others, you know, in my situation, being that inspiration. Marco and Wilson will run the San Francisco Marathon 5K this weekend to inspire others and show people what can be done even when facing renal failure. Marco is still waiting for a kidney donor. He is one of thousands of patients on the list at UCSF. We uh, at UCSF are one of the largest transplant centers in the country. And this past year, we've done over 400 kidney transplants. Wow. And how many people are waiting on your list? On our list, about 4,000. Wow. It is absolutely a growing need. You know, we have... Um, uh, a real problem in the United States with um, diabetes, which is the number one cause of end-stage kidney disease in our country, and more and more people on the wait list waiting for a kidney transplant. UCSF has partnered with the National Kidney Donation Organization to raise awareness about the need for donors. Part of the solution, they say, is living donors. Most people have two kidneys. Most only need one. We don't need a miracle. The miracles walking around inside of all of us that are healthy. Um, we were born with two kidneys. We only need one kidney to live a full, physically fit, healthy life. Matt Cavanaugh is the president of the National Kidney Donation Organization and an Army veteran. He will be running the San Francisco Marathon on Sunday, just one of 12 that he will complete this year as part of the 1K12M project. And so this is number seven. So my partner, Hillary Bowdy, and I are both living donors, and we're running, we're committed to running 12 uh, marathons this year, uh, again, to show people what you can do after you donate. They share their story, as does Wilson, because they say they know it matters. Wilson got his kidney after someone heard his story, which also inspired Mission HQ staffer Amy McCann to sign up. I went to get tested. Um, I got the information, went to get tested, and I was declined because I was still overweight. Um, I was in the process. I've lost about 100 pounds. She lost the weight, 
And on her birthday, just two months ago, she donated her kidney to a stranger. Something just in me was like, no, why can't you do it? You're healthy, you've got two, you don't need them both. Why not help somebody? These are the stories that will be told when the sea of people take to the streets of San Francisco for the San Francisco Marathon weekend. Stories of battles being fought, stories of strength and of community, stories that continue to inspire. We're showing this adversity that we're not going to go down so easily that we will overcome this thing. That's what crossing that finish line means and that's what that medal is going to mean. Claudine Wong, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Good job.